All right, welcome back. So today I'm going to go through all of the electronic assembly for the Badger and uh, get things in the right place, hold it up and uh, hopefully get uh, close to being able to do a test flight. So this is the flight controller I'm going to mount. So it's, uh, it's a Matek H743 and before I start wiring stuff up I want to just make sure that RG Pilot is on this and that the excels are calibrated because it's much easier to calibrate the excels while it's out of the box or out of the frame. So uh, I'll quickly show you that. I'll do it a different way. I usually I like to use DFU, the DFU util, but uh, today I'm going to use um, Cube Programmer. So uh, I'm going to press the little button on here, plug this in. And release the button and that's in DFU mode and you can see the red light is solid red so it's in DFU mode. So then I'm going to bring up STM32 Cube Programmer. Actually I'm not. First I'm going to find the bootloader. So actually if you go to the RG Pilot tree so you can see here. So I've got uh, the RG Pilot, uh, the RG Pilot project and it doesn't really, I'm just going to use master here, you could use a different branch, so I can go to tools, bootloaders, and then what I want is the Maytech H743, and I want the BD shop version, and I want the hex file, so the, the difference between the binary file and the hex file is the hex file has a has the start address burnt into it so it's much easier to work with if you're using something like cube Pro program you don't have to tell cube programmer where things go um, so I'm going to click on that and then uh, download the raw file so let's put that in downloads Alright, so I've downloaded that raw file, the bootloader, and then I'm going to bring up STM32 Cube Programmer. So you can get this from the um, ST site, just look for it. And we're in, this is how it looks when you start up, we're in DFU mode, so I'm just going to click connect, USB connect, and, uh, whoops. Doesn't seem to be connecting. Oh, there's no DFU detected. Let's try that once more. Unplug that. Maybe if I, there we go. Okay, so I, ref I hit refresh on that. It looks like connect. There we go, okay, so it's loaded up, it's connected, you can see that it recognizes um, that uh, it's a ST device and what I'm gonna do then is open file so open file find the hex file that I just downloaded okay so I've got this hex file here and uh, it knows where the address is and I'm now going to click download which actually means upload to the device. I find this very confusing with ST but this is the way the things go. So click download and that's done and I can also click on here and say verify and it says done as well and if I then okay so disconnect and if I then unplug and plug in again, if I bring up uh, Device Manager, you can see that there's a RG Pilot. Well, it, there was an RG Pilot device port. I think it's still reading the the, the Mephling port. Um, so that is good. And then I'm going to upload firmware so install firmware I'm going to install copter official 
Yes. May take H743 BD shot. Yes. Upload firmware. Okay, and that's the upload done. So now I'm gonna unplug the flight controller, plug it back in. I should now be able to connect. Yep, so that's good. So a uh, couple of things to do. First, just set the frame type to X, just that uh, nothing else works unless you do that. And then I'm going to do Excel calibration. So, calibrate Excel. So it's going to go. So that's the top. So I'm going to I'm going to calibrate it in the direction that it says. I think I think that'll work reasonably well. So I'm going to do this on the bench. So I'm going to click calibrate Excel. Put it on bench and uh, can't really see this, but um, I'm just doing each of the sides. Level, okay, left, is that side, right, is that side, nose down, is that way. Is up is that way. Back is that way. All right, calibration successful. Brilliant. And then the other thing I'm just going to do is just set this BLH parameter that we used yesterday to one BLH auto, so that just allows you to um, use BL heli with uh, the flight controller. And with that done, I'm now going to start to place components and see how I can wire them up.